the airport now, Phil Hansen, part of that great broadcast team heading to Frisco, Texas. And uh, Phil, you get excited for this to bring back some old memories of uh, title runs, loading up planes? 21, 22 years. It's time. It's time for another championship. You, uh, you liken this to any of your Bills Super Bowls, load that charter Bills flight? or? Well, I, I hope that those Bills Super Bowls, this this turnout is going to be different. different. You can win one rather than lose it. All right. So now, uh, you know, you've played in these games, Phil. Uh, what are those players that just went through security here heading down to Frisco? What's going through their, their bodies right now? Their mind? Excitement that it's finally here. You know, they spent three weeks practicing, getting ready. Got the holidays out of the way. Um, now it's time to concentrate on that game. How have you been able to separate the player to the broadcaster, you know, you know, because now I'd imagine as a guy that's been there, done that, you're so used to that player mentality, but are you so removed now, Phil, that now you're strictly in the broadcast mode? No, no, going through it, it the only thing that I'm removed from is, is being on the field, but, you know, I know what they're thinking, I know what they're going through, you know, the routines, uh, they got one thing coming up uh, <laughs> where the players will be sizing each other up, which is, will be a fun thing, and, it's that uh, barbecue or whatever. So you can be assured that all the Bison players will sit at their tables. The Sam Houston players will sit over there, but they'll be sizing each other up. Oh, I think that's the guy that I'll be going against. So, so, so is it uh, okay? It's Wednesday now. When's the hype really start? When is a player do you start really jet, you know, getting all fueled up? And you know, set it, Friday night. It, the, the, the smart players do it a slow build of the game, like they do any other week. Today, for a lot of young players or somebody who doesn't know the routine or a coach who hasn't coached them properly, they'll get all high going down there and be jacked up at practice this afternoon and tomorrow. You don't want to get too high too fast. Save it for the game. Get good night's rest. Don't get caught up in the hoopla. That's one thing that, that's one piece of advice I would give the players. All right, he's a Hall of Famer, Bill Hanson. He's now going to look at you and tell you in what way, what fashion, how does NDSU win this football game? I think they're two evenly matched teams. Like I say, every week, turnovers, I believe turnovers will make the difference in the game. Whoever wins the turnover battle will win the game when you have two evenly matched teams, of which these are. At the end of the day, I think the Bison can pull this out by, by in the fourth quarter. The big offensive linemen just leaning on them, have long, sustained drives. You heard it from Phil Hansen, Bison Hall of Famer. Phil, have a great trip to Frisco, Texas.